He changed electric guitar forever and pushed every boundary possible, but Jimi Hendrix's secret weapon is more simple than you'd think. So flip your guitar upside down and get ready for some pseudoscience because today it's all about feel. <laughs> Jimi Hendrix might be the most talked about guitar player of all time. Whether it's his gear, his tone, his approach to soloing and chords, or his songs, there's not much that's a secret at this point when it comes to Hendrix. But there is one aspect of what he did that doesn't get talked about very much at all. Now, at the time Jimi Hendrix was coming up and making a name for himself as a guitar god, string making technology was not what it is today. In fact, most guitar players had strings as an afterthought. It was just something that you had to have, obviously, to make music, but the thought that goes into strings today as far as gauges and materials and manufacturing processes just didn't exist at the time that Hendrix was coming up. But Hendrix and his good friend Roger Mayer, you might remember Roger Mayer from the Octavia pedal, saw strings as an opportunity to change the way Jimmy played and sounded. Listen, we all know that the only way you're gonna be like Hendrix is if you spend as much money on gear as possible. Check out the affiliate links below if you do that. Now, of course, there are certain things that have to be present for the Hendrix thing to be happening. You need a Strat or a Strat style guitar. Not just any Strat though. As you can see with this Jimi Hendrix signature model, things are backwards. And that's because Jimi, as you know, flipped a right-handed guitar upside down. And what that did to the strings is it changed the length of the low E string and the high E string. So right there, you're gonna have a different feel on the guitar. It's debatable as to whether that really changes the sound of the guitar, but it definitely feels different. Now, what does change the sound of the guitar is the angle of the pickup. And you can see Fender has actually reversed it here to help stay true to that Hendrix thing. But, the strings. Now this is where things get really interesting. A typical set of 10 gauge electric guitar strings goes like this. 10, 13, 17, 26, 36, and 46. Now these are measurements in inches. That's 0 0.01 of an inch. So what Hendrix and Roger Mayer did was is they changed the G string, the A string, and the low E string, and they shrunk those gauges. On a Hendrix style set of strings, the gauges are as follows. 10, 13, 15, 26, 32, and 38. So the way Roger Mayer explains this is a little suspect, I'm not gonna lie. He talks about square roots of string gauges and doubling outputs and pounds of strings, and I'm gonna be honest, I don't think that's correct. But the sentiment, was there. So why would Hendrix and Roger Mayer do this? He says that the proper balance of string output is achieved by reducing the jump of thickness between the B and the G string that normally exists in a set of 10 gauge electric guitar strings. Now, I am not a string scientist here, but from what I understand, that is actually not a balanced string set. And also, string gauge is not always the best way to balance the output across all six strings of your guitar. There are other ways to do that. However, Roger Mayer was on to something when it comes to the G string here. If you've ever noticed on an electric guitar, the G string is kind of the string that is unruly. Sometimes it goes out of tune, sometimes it's the one that sticks out big time when it comes to playing chords. And that's because you can actually have a wound G string or a plain G string. Now we've actually gone to G strings being plain is sort of the standard on electric guitars. But what a plain string does versus a wound string is it makes it kind of bite a little bit harder and stick out more. So by reducing the actual gauge on that string, you are mellowing out that G string just a little bit. But there were some other maybe unintended consequences that happen with this Jimi Hendrix string gauge set. And most of those revolve around the way it feels to play a set like this. When you're bending strings that are lighter in positions like the low E, the A, and the G, you are bound to play differently. And what's cool about this is you'll find yourself actually playing more like Hendrix. So who knew? Strings, it's all you needed to sound like Jimi Hendrix. You're an icon now, congratulations. Well, she's walking. There 
are no more secrets when it comes to Jimi Hendrix. This is the final frontier, his string gauge. Throw a set onto a Strat. Make sure it's tuned down to E flat, and if you're lucky, grab one that has a reverse headstock for the full effect. And I'm here to tell you, it's gonna take you straight to Hendrix heaven. Thank you.